Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. Be here and this week I bring you a kind of a first look, first impressions of the abstract acrylic ink by Senelier. So one day I went to Cascais and I went to Ponte das Artes. It's one of the biggest art shops here in Portugal and I hadn't been there in a while and the ladies there are absolutely lovely. Uh, and I saw that they had these like abstract acrylic ink and it's been a while I've been kind of wanting to try out acrylic inks I'm used to using the ferris wheel press inks and like not non uh, water resistant inks and I've been really wanting to try them out so I saw these I cried a little when I paid I got seven colors as you can see on the screen by the time I finished talking about this I am drawing drinks I think I mentioned in my last few videos that I just finished watching Arcane absolutely loved it. Uh, Jinx was one of my favorites in terms of designs and everything else. I love her. And so I kind of picked the colors based on Jinx and kind of just the color that I like and very much looking to draw Jinx. Uh, so like the color of her eyes, hair and all that stuff. So the colors that I got was white, Naples yellow, then v Venetian pink, deep magenta, light violet, and azure blue, and finally turquoise. So these colors are cool, but I'm not sure if I love them yet. This is not a review yet, I don't know these well enough. This is the first actual painting I'm doing with them, and I really want to try them more. Um, over Christmas I'm going to be staying at my parents, and I think I'm going to be bringing only two supplies with me. I'm going to be bringing these and a card and the current brush pens i haven't tried them out well enough to do a review so i'm going to bring only those those materials to my parents home and just use these for the two weeks i think that i'm there i have a kind of limited color palette i don't have a lot of values to be honest but that's on me of course and so i could only mix a few certain colors but i could mix a quite big amount of colors uh Here's all the colors that I could mix with these inks that I tried on the first day that I got them. They are a bit thicker than I thought. I mean, you can tell that they are opaque in the jars, like they are zero translucent. You can really tell that they are opaque. Plus the colors that I picked are kind of pastel E, so of course they have a lot of white in them. So they are going to be more opaque and like just milky, I guess. And I think I kind of, because of that, I kind of start using them and it's gouache, I start layering them kind of thick and that makes so that when they dry they kind of have a very plastic sheen to it uh, something that I don't really enjoy a lot so I think I just kind of have to find another way to use them and not layer as much uh, something really weird that they do when I use my heat gun uh, they bubble up if they have a lot of pigment but of course these are kind of plastic, I mean acrylic ink so I guess it's oh, normal that they do that, but I kind of freaked out the first time that I saw like the ink bubble up and then just turn into a um, soft plastic. It was really, really weird. It freaked me out. So mixing her skin was pretty easy and everything else. Uh, I picked that more light violet blue mostly because of her tattoos. I absolutely love the tattoos of the characters, mostly Vi and Jinx. I really want to try and do like a study of Vi's tattoos because they were so stunning. Vi is also such a great character. I, I, I really like them all. <laughs> They're so cool. I think my least favorite is actually Jace, but that's just not here or there. In terms of design and everything else, because Victor is so cute as well. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen Arcane, I totally recommend it. Even if you don't watch, if you don't play uh, League of Legends, for example, I don't play it. I am honestly horrible at playing it, but I've known the, a few of the characters and champions, and so I really liked it. It was really, really nice. Plus, the animation is double chef's kiss. It's so good. So yeah, regarding the inks, um, I still feel like I need to find another way to use them. Maybe just not layering that much and either doing a more just watered down version. I did a doodle yesterday night and I think I kind of did it differently than what I did here and I much more prefer the look of that. 
So I'm just going to keep trying these, keep trying to see how I, what I like, what I don't like. Maybe doing another more characters that don't have this exact color palette M might just make me mix them more because like I said, I kind of bought these colors thinking of Jinx. So of course I did not have to mix colors per se, I already had the colors for her. So that was kind of just the easier part. So I really want to try and mix them more and definitely play with more watered down versions because honestly that sheen bothers me. I don't really like it. So I kind of just, I think I have to reset my thinking of them. Maybe I just have to think using them how I use normal inks, but I don't know. It's odd. You don't really glaze with them with these because they are thicker but if you layer them thick they look weird so i don't know uh, definitely not a favorite from the start maybe when i use them more i will like them but for now not my fave i also used to have a liquid text ink i think but i don't really use them as much so i really just need to practice more Okay, so here is something that I do enjoy these inks for. Uh, one of the first like tries I did with them, I just kind of tried doing this kind of marbling effect, where you just drop ink on white paper, and this looks cool. At least in my opinion, it looks very textured, and it kind of makes me want to try just doing marbling paper just for fun, kind of trying it at home. I was seeing a few tutorials and. You don't, you can kind of get away with stuff you have at home. And so, yeah, I just wet the paper. I dropped the ink. The turquoise really did a nice job spreading. And the other colors, I kind of needed to nudge them a little bit. This is quite messy and it can look a bit tacky. I'm not sure if it looks cool or tacky in my opinion. It's fun. It's mindless background. And I thought it kind of fitted Jinx. Maybe it's too clean and too bright to fit her, maybe something a bit darker, but uh, I was kind of scared of ruining it, so I didn't do that much. Maybe I'll try it again on another piece of paper, just trying to do more grungy background. <laughs> and also this takes a while to dry, like a while, a while. And it doesn't look maybe as good when it's over, but yeah, it was, it was pretty, it's a pretty fun thing to do. Then I just went with my artist throw paint pen, did a few finishing touches, a white border around her, and yeah, this painting was pretty much done. I don't love, love, love how it turned out. It's okay. I kind of have a bit of a difficulty with fan art. I try to focus on the things that make the character and kind of forget my own style sometimes. Fan art can be a bit difficult for me, but this was fun. And I think I definitely want to do more jinxes just because her design is just so good. So yeah, this was kind of my first impressions of the abstract acrylic ink by Sennelier. I will definitely do a fuller review in the future where it, maybe when I learn better how to use them and maybe then I can give you some tips, tips and tricks that made me enjoy them more. Thank you so much for watching and for being here as always. You guys have been just so sweet for me in the comments. And I really appreciate every single comment that you leave. As always, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know. Have you watched Arcane? Do you like these inks? Have you tried them? So again, subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment because you guys are the best. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.